Okay, let's see if the mic, yep, it, sh it shows it's uh, going, so I must be live and in living color, thanks to my Logitech Brio, I guess it is. Um, whoops, I always have a browser up here. Let me bring the browser up. Um, I just... I've been using for a while Stardock, uh, some of their, well, I think one or two, well, one, I finally added another. I finally just went ahead and bought the entire package. Uh, they gave me credit for, uh, so let's see, where is it? Here it is. So this is, I only had to pay, I already purchased two of these. Uh, which start 10, which uh, kind of gives you the old Windows menu type thing. What is the other one that I purchased? Uh, group, or groupy, I guess. And that you can see here, over here. Uh, you can do an awful lot with their software, um, but it takes a little bit of, you know, looking, trying to figure out how to do the stuff, and I, I don't want to spend too much time doing that, but um, I think I also just opened up the icon, let's see, package, and I think I installed, I'm not sure what I did, but anyway... So if you look at my computer, you know, see the screen here, if you see some things and you think, what version of Windows, you know, I'm running Windows 10, you know, Pro, and I'm running the Insiders, and it's 18922. By the way, did I get a notice? Um, I think I saw a notice that there was an update. Let's see, wait a minute. No, it just says up here, okay, Windows 10 up to date. These uh, Microsoft reward points, uh, for a long time I didn't pay any attention, so I had quite a few of them. Only got 19 now, but uh, I've never won anything. I can close this, I think, here. Never won anything, but um, kind of nice. And I think with like 100 points or whatever, um, they have like a roulette wheel or something, and you can click and might instantly that'd be kind of nice um i don't know if i can demonstrate it let's see see if it'll take me to it uh, see so this is it now i don't have enough points to do anything but let me see if i can demonstrate it and i'm not sure what you get them Four. I think Microsoft, I've uh, played Casino. What is that? You've seen me play it before. And occasionally I'll spend $2.50 or something for extra dollars to play. I finally removed it, which I did once in the past. Because, it, you know, even though I... I haven't spent very much. I just can't really have, so I've taken it off again. So that's maybe the big way I, um, but let me see, uh, redeem rewards. Let me show you the, it'll probably not let me go there because it'll say probably I don't have enough points. Let's see, visit Kenya. Let's see. I don't see a thing for re even redeem points now. Oh, I think I think this is the one, uh, the spend to win, and I won't have enough points. But let's see if it'll take me there. Yeah. 
Anyway, kind of nice. Um, I ordered from eBay some uh, Java moss. It's uh, great for uh, baby fish to go into and hide and all that type of stuff in it. It grows great, but it grows, I guess, very slow. And so I looked at a couple of the tropical fish uh, places here, and uh, none of them had it. And I looked, I think, at three. I think there's one place, though. Is this the one? Uh, they have a lot of nice stuff, but, man, they charge a lot for it. But I... Uh, Finally, I went to eBay and um, found somebody there that I think it was, well, I should know, I just paid, what was it, $12 or it's free shipping or something, or $9 free shipping, so there should be a small amount, and uh, I'll put that in my tank. I was talking about, I mentioned going to... Uh, fish store today and buying some fish. I just don't feel like getting out. My son was going to go with me and he backed out. Um, so, um, tank looks good. I'm, 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 oh, that's, I'll, I'll add that on to the end of uh, this. I'm, I took last night or early in the morning, this morning, took my cell phone and made a uh, little video of the um, fish tank. So what I'll do is when I finish this, and this is going to be short, I'll add that little video onto the end of the, uh, the video. So... Um, let me recap. Uh, I am running Windows 10 Pro, uh, build 18922. Everything is, is working okay. I uh, paid for this just a while ago. And it's a little bit, uh, well, not hard, but you have to if you if you want to get the full they it, they can these various programs can do a lot, but you have to uh, or you can just run you know the easy you know just run the easiest. But if you want to go in, then it and I don't feel like thinking. I'm too old to be thinking. I I did all my thinking years ago and I don't want to do any more thinking I uh, I'm 78 years old I um, I never thought I so I I quit the I worked hospital security for about 30 years I quit in 2000 I I always thought that I would be, I would just be working up until, you know, until I died. I didn't actually think I was going to retire, but I uh, quit in 2000, I, but then I decided to work the 2000 census. Then I left uh, with my son for Florida and was down there in Orlando for about a year or so, and I worked at a hospital, well, for a contract guard agency at a hospital in charge of their security. That was terrible. Uh, then we went to uh, Carrollton, Texas, my son and I, and I worked uh, uh, control tower security at Love Field and at uh, Addison Field here in Texas. Then I went to um, Miami with a different son, P. 
because uh, he wanted me to be down there and uh, help him out while he uh, went to FAA school, community college, and then FAA school and whatever. And uh, so then my grandson came down and uh, got his GED and then I was then I worked at uh, CompUSA and then my prostate problem got really so bad I couldn't I couldn't work I, the only way I could work would be if I was working from the bathroom you know so I I quit but I asked the company if they'd hire my grandson they did he became a manager right away or not the manager of the store, but one of the sub-managers. And uh, so we were there five years, I think it was. And then my grandson and I came to Fort Worth, Texas. And my uh, son, the one that had been with me in Orlando, was... Uh, living here with my his mother my ex-wife and we moved into an apartment uh, my grandson and I did above them and then uh, eventually we moved next to them uh, in, because of two bedrooms two bathrooms or whatever and uh, then my uh, grandson moved into his own apartment because he got a job working at Sears and he ended up being a manager at Sears and then they went out of business but he moved so my ex-wife and my son they moved over here and so we could share the expenses it didn't make much sense uh, paying two electric bills two internet bills to all these kind of bills so we they moved over here and uh, so I'm in this room with a bathroom close by my uh, son is in the room over there we all have our computers he's in the room over there and my ex-wife wanted to be I didn't confine her to she wanted to be in the dining room which is right next to the kitchen or whatever so she's there and uh, by the way you would not believe um, let's see let me pull this up and go to Amazon tell me if you've had any trouble I did a search and I finally found yeah people are having trouble but let me go here and go to orders and do TV and search okay you'll see that um, in October 3rd of 2018 less than a year ago uh, my ex-wife purchased a 55 inch 4k uh, TCL TV set with Roku and uh, it is the one that she now has and it looks like it's starting the same problem that she had before it's not it looks like it starts gradually and the screen just goes black flat you know goes and it seems like it starts out regular TV type and then it expands because before that she had a TCL 48 inch Roku smart TV and that one man it went it started out just you know she'd be watching over the air TV and screen would go black and it'd go back okay black and it kind of increases or whatever and uh then it spread to, um, 
you know, Netflix or whatever you had it doing that. And uh, so she got that one in 20, <laughs> or October of 2016. And uh, here is the, um, let me see, that might be them calling here. Nope, it's a wireless uh, call from California. This morning, I, oh, sorry. No, that's a wireless call on her phone from uh, California. I read the uh, caller ID, although that doesn't mean anything because of the robo robocalls. Um, had a call on my cell phone this morning a recorded message right away it says this is uh, Social Security Administration calling to inform you that your Social Security number is going to be revoked and you need to call us and it actually gave the number that showed on the caller I caller ID <clears throat> but I didn't call them you know oh, man I did not call them back because what they can do is, uh, when you call one of these numbers, it can charge you X amount of money for calling. You know, when all you have to do is call that number back, and you're paying for a long distance call or whatever. So many, but I was tempted to call them, call them back. Of course, they're not going to get you know. I mean, impersonating the you know. Social Security Administration. Can you imagine somebody like my mother when she had Alzheimer's? Uh, but even people who don't have Alzheimer's, can you especially old people, can you imagine uh, scammers like that calling and telling them, oh, your Social Security number? And I'm sure when you call them back, they would be, I would kind of wanted to call them. There's some people on YouTube that do that, contact the scammers. And I've even uh, seen some YouTube videos where the, the the victim turned out to get access to the scammers, you know, computer and stuff. So God bless those people. But uh, our, anyway, oh, this uh, 48 inch, that's in October too. It looks like we buy, that's my, uh, I got to see what you're saying. Hang on here a second. Got to, uh, Bring this over here. Uh, there. That over there is uh, the 48 inch. Is that the 48 inch one? And that's a T. And I haven't had any problem. That's a T. Very same, you know, one. Uh, if. If Darlene's computer, or if her, um, where's my mouse? Here it is. If her computer messes, or her computer, if her TV messes up again, what I'm going to try to do is, like when it messed up these other two times, uh, doing that or whatever, I said, you know, Oh, well, I, we could, if we could figure out whether, you know, it's, uh, you know, if we could do some experimenting, is it the chip that, you know, what would happen if uh, I got an Apple TV uh, device or a Google TV, you know, device or whatever, the uh, ex-wife is just frantic, you know, she, that's, I mean, television, well, she's handicapped. She's confined to a wheelchair. Uh, I mean, she's either in her bed or she's in a wheelchair. And television is going 24-7. She falls asleep with remote control in her hand. And then she'll wake up 
and at, you know, and then she'll rewind, uh, you know, start over, and then start watching the what she, and then she'll immediately go back to sleep, and she just keeps doing. TV is important to her, and she doesn't want to. But I think what I'm going to do, if the um, uh, is order in a, I wonder if a Roku device. That okay, that's a question I can ask you. You may know that. Okay, her television is a you know TCL, and it has Roku built in. Um, if I purchase from Amazon a Roku device, their newer one, the bigger one, of course she would, I'd have to, because she is very tight with money. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about her because uh, I'm, you know, I like, you know, I feel good when I spend money and I don't have much money, but uh, I'm one of those people that, uh, but, um, I'd, I'd have to, because she would, well, she wouldn't want to do it, but also she definitely wouldn't want the more expensive one, but the more expensive Roku external device that you hook up to a TV, uh, you know, has the remote control with voice control, which is also, it's, uh, tied in with Echo. I can say Echo because uh, I got an Echo device for her, and uh, she uses I didn't think she would use it. She uses it all the time, all the time. And I, but anyway, that echoes the control word in there. Uh, for my device in here, I use the A word. Uh, but what I'm wondering is, I mean, I have to, uh, if... I would think you'd be able to, you know, like, so what I want to do is order in, say, the Roku device, hook it up to her TV when it goes bad. Of course, it has to be before it goes bad. It's gone bad, it's gone bad a little bit now, but it's because she can't live with it. And, it, and it, she will not, you know, like, I can't temporarily, I don't even use my Roku over there hardly ever and I can't take it in there because it's not 55 inches you know every time she gets one she gets bigger which I can understand you don't want to go back you know but uh, she wouldn't even like to for you know you can get what one day or two day delivery from something from that she she couldn't do a day without uh, we lost power for a couple hours the other day and uh, she was wanting to know if there was some way she could hook up her TV set, plug her TV set into my UPS, you know, thing for my computer or something. So, but that's what I'm wondering about. Should, well, what I would do is I would order it in or an Apple device or a something and hook it up to her TV when it's doing that flashing because if the problem is in the Roku chip set wherever that is maybe uh, this other device would be not using that chip I don't know if you have any idea about that let me know I did a search uh, at, now a year ago or whatever it was or two when she had the problem. I did a search. I didn't find any problem. This time I just did a search and on a, a user's group where they're talking and people are asking questions or whatever, there was quite a few people saying that their TV was doing that and Roku was not, They Roku was answering, or I'm not sure if it was Roku or if it was TCL, was answering questions for other people but they weren't talking anything about that. Uh, what we didn't do, what we didn't do last time is we didn't take out the guarantee, you know, the Amazon 
thing where you purchase, no matter what you purchase, they want to sell you a uh, guarantee for it. I've purchased a few of those in the past for, you know, not when they're not much money and when the, you know, and uh, like what I can remember is, by the way, my chairs are going, you know, they go to hell. Her TVs go to hell. My chairs go to hell. I did, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, anyway, we didn't purchase the guarantee. So if, if she, see, she wants a good t TV, but she doesn't want to pay, you know. And so I think if that TV goes, if her TV goes bad, She's going to look at the prices and say, well, can I go with the, you know, the same TV set? But the problem with, for my, like my chair, I ordered, um, you know, the guarantee. Almost right away, uh, one of the casters, the wheels or whatever on the office chair broke. But it was, I mean, a few months went by, six months or whatever. And by the way, I was not over the limit, but close to the limit for the chair. And uh, which reminds me, let's see, Amazon, I think I put it on here. Go to wish list. By the way, if you can, please, you know, I think it, it'll be in below. When you're ordering something, um, let's see, no, wish list. When you're ordering something, please try to use my link. Um, because I get a commission. Doesn't cost you anything. Okay, here's uh, the first time I've seen these. Um, this is, you know, big and tall. I'm not, well, I'm big. I mean, you know, but, uh, and this is, usually it's, uh, they say these chairs are, what is it, 250 pounds. And I'm close to that, uh, but not, I've actually, I don't think I've ever been 250. I think 240 is about as much as I've ever been. So I'm thinking uh, that this is 500 pound chair limit. And, uh, oh, the other chair that's over there. Well, I can do that. I can show you, I can go to orders and show you that chair uh, orders. Uh, chair, whoops. Okay, here's the chair that I ordered. It's September of 2018. The hydraulic thing, you know, it, I'll be sitting in the chair and at first it just went down a little bit and then I, you know, could re back up and uh, then it got where as soon as I put it back up, as soon as I sat down on it, it went down and I'm sitting, you know, just about on the floor. And uh, this chair under here, the one, this one here is the... Uh, The Fermac one here, the second one, that's the one that I'm sitting in now. It is not comfortable at all. And uh, I ne have never tried to even lean, lean back in this chair. And it's uh, pushing on my legs on, you know, each side with these things are pushing into my legs. Uh, the other chair was comfortable. And, oh, I was going to tell you, yeah, that was it. So I, and one of the chairs that I ordered, well, here's another one that I ordered. Uh, uh, March of 2017, here's a chair I ordered. Uh, October of 2015, here's a chair I ordered. Uh, November of 2012. Um, Anyway, I took out the guarantee on the thing. And so it was less than a year, the wheel broke, caster or whatever. And so I contacted the 
people that I got the guarantee from, policy, what do you call it, or whatever. And they said, oh, it's still under guarantee with, you know, we after a year, you know. So they gave me the number of the uh, people that, and I called them, somebody very, you know, uh, I mean, there wasn't caller, it wasn't, you know, somebody will be with you in a minute or whatever, somebody answered the phone, I explained what the problem was and uh, what the part was, and they sent me out immediately the part that I needed, and I uh, fixed it or whatever. But uh, I think for the most part those things are worthless, but maybe, I don't know, what do you think about that comment, I guess, below or whatever, if you want to. Okay, this went on longer than I thought. And in about 15 minutes, my uh, ex-wife and grown son should be heading back from Walmart with a bunch of groceries and food. And uh, I run out of Coke Zero, so they're going to bring me back a couple 24 packs of that. I told them this time, don't get any dip. I love like French onion dip and chips. I said, don't get that. And so they said, well, what do you want? And we always end up getting the same, the same thing. I would, I would like to eat better. I mean, it's, well, it's my foot, I you mean, know, I've, my uh, left foot especially, and it hurts all the time because it's, now it's hurting all the time because it's swollen up even bigger. Uh, I got poor circulation to the legs and the feet, and uh, it hurts now all the time. It's swollen so much, and I know it's diet because if you remember, if you watch my videos, uh, you'll know that I went to, uh, to Washington D.C. Uh, for two weeks to spend. To, to I've never I'd never seen Washington D.C. before. I'm a big movie fan, a big TV fan, uh, history fan, or whatever. So it was just my uh, daughter and her husband. And my daughter sometimes had to work, so uh, Aaron. You know, showed me around, took me all around uh, Washington, D.C., and as much as I, but what I did is I was having some trouble then. Well, I had swollen feet then and everything, but I was able to get around better than I can now. Uh, but what we did is we walked for, uh, for, was it two and a half hours or three and a half hours? I can't remember now. Every other day, so... One day we just hung around the house, and then, but uh, the swelling in my feet went back to I didn't know they could do that because it'd been that way. They went back to normal, and I lost weight. This is just a two week period. I lost weight. My feet were not swollen any longer, and what it was was walking, you know, two and a half or three hours every other day, and uh, both my daughter and her husband are vegan, and uh, now a couple times during that two weeks, I walked down the street and got a quarter pounder or something, but I mean, that shows that I just, if I can, but it's, and my son I'm type 2 diabetic. Uh, my son, he's about, I don't, I should know, he's, he's about 40. Uh, man, he buys, you know, bags of chocolate donuts, bags of uh, the little candy bars, you know, the Hershey's candy bars of different kinds, all kinds of stuff. And I try, and sometimes I do well, and but then sometimes... Especially when we don't, when we, well, we have food here, but there's certain foods, you know, that 
but anyway, so I go by and I'll take a bunch of the candy bars and come in here and eat them. So I've told him, and I'm really serious, you know, take them to your room, you know. Uh, when I've even said, you know, hey, let's let's get you a safe, you know, put the candy in there. But I'm concerned for him uh, because his mother is type 2 of diabetic, and I am now type 2 diabetic. Um, he spends a long time sitting in a chair, you know, in front of a computer. Anyway, I will, oh yeah, that's what I got to remember to do is don't touch the mouse because I'm going to stop this, but then you're going to see video that I took with my cell phone. Um, and I need to get ready to help them when they get here, bring the stuff, the groceries in. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, but don't touch the mouse because, uh, I look at the, a closer look at the fish tank is coming up. That video was, uh, taken with the cell phone. So thank you very much for watching and... Okay, this is the aquarium. I think today is the 26th, but it's about 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. And my plan is that I am planning on going to a tropical fish shop later today. I'm picking up a few fish. There's almost no fish in this tank. I love plants. I like snails. I love placostomus. There's a couple of placostomus in there. But I do need some more fish. Uh, there's one Coriodorus. I had five when I started. I think I had a bad batch. One looked healthy and the other four didn't. Got two snails. I think the snails are trying to mate, but I'm not sure if that's how they mate. Maybe they're just trying to eat algae off each other. I don't know. Plants are looking good. I took the filter off the back, the external filter on the back, and put in sponge filters. Uh, the one on the left, the dual one or whatever, it was an inexpensive one. And one over here, really, for, uh, in the back there, the small one, about perfect for a uh, five gallon tank, but I put it in here. Got a couple air stones. The one on the left there is going pretty good. The one over here I got kind of turned down. Like I said, I do love plants. There's the other snail. Can you see it on top of that piece of wood there? It's a pretty snail. I do love snails. I do love plants. Did I say that? So, I, uh, yesterday I purchased a, right, it came yesterday on Amazon. I got a suction uh, thing for taking water out and getting some of the stuff out of the uh, gravel or whatever. I took about five gallons out. I don't think I did a very good job of picking up the debris or whatever. I was afraid that the uh, hose was going to pop out of the bucket and I was going to have a flood. So next time I do it, I'll maybe have my son watch the bucket for me and then I can pay attention to uh, You know, getting some of the debris out of the gravel. But now I have so many plants and stuff in there. Oh, this piece of wood over here. Can't see it very well, but uh, it was just, I think, $12, I think. And, uh, not sure what kind of fish. It depends, I guess, on what the fish store has. I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, 
to get. Um, when I go, I'll uh, maybe I'll put this with that video. Maybe I'll make a video in the store and add this video to it, or maybe I'll just upload this uh, and then make that a separate video. Not sure. I'm recording this, of course, on my uh, cell phone and uh, Sony cell phone. I uh, I don't use my cell phone. I don't use I don't use my cell phone very much, and I don't. Uh, I really should just get a. Although this is you know I should just get a I should get a. a a cell phone with a better camera, although this one is okay, and uh, just use the uh, just use the cell phone because it's you know I always have the cell phone with me if you know I always have the cell phone with me so. Oh, there's that other little tiny snail on the glass. It came in with a plant. So I'm just kind of watching it to see if if other snails turn up or, if, or see to see how big this one gets or if it's just a, just a regular old pond snail from Florida, you know. See if I can get a little better of the view of the plants down here. Did I mention that I love plants? I think I did. I think that I did. Okie doke. Thank you very much for watching.